Welcome to my Canva headshot tutorial. This is going to be a pretty easy one. And if you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below in the description where you can use Canva for free or simply use that link to log in. So keep in mind, you're going to need a picture, whether it be of yourself or someone else, whatever it is you're going to use. If you already have a transparent background and you want to roll with it, you're going to be good. If you don't need a transparent background, that's fine. But if you're looking to do that, I'm going to start off with that first. This is just going to be the example picture that I'm going to be using. And in order to get that transparent background, you will need Canva Pro. They do come with a free trial, but I'll show you how that works with the edit image. So let's click there. And we're simply just going to do background remover so this can match the white on the back. Let's do that and I'll be back when it's done. All right, so very quickly, that is what it looks like. It did remove a little bit of hair, which is fine. I, th I still think it looks good. Let's click on apply. Now what we want to do is go for our frame. So let's go to elements right here. I already have some that are recently used, but if I scroll down a little bit more, we're going to notice we have frames here. So a good one, for example, could be this, like any type of circular frame. All we have to do is just drag our image in there. And just like that, it's going to be there. However, it kind of looks, you know, almost like the circle is going to be here just because it's transparent. So I'm going to hit undo. And we can always use one, say, with like borders or any other things going through it. So, for example, it doesn't have to be a circle, but just kind of show you what it would look like if it was this shape. You know, it looks a little bit better, right? We can also change around the colors, but I do think the circle one's the best. So let's look for the circle with like the border. We have some rectangles. We have the stamp. That's pretty cool. That border is kind of big. This one's not too bad. Let's go with this. And you'll notice we can change around the colors. So this right here is going to be the border color so this is marketing island here so let's do something a little bit tropical let's say like this and let's throw this in there and just like that i think that looks a lot better we could obviously you know play around with the colors as well but what we can also do is if we click on this and we go to crop i think it looks perfect as it is in case you needed to move the picture left or right up or down that's where you could do that in case you were wondering so something like this would be just fine but that's pretty much how you can create a headshot and of course if you wanted to use a different type of frame you can do that there's plenty of them here and there's even like some compasses which is really cool so you can play around with that i think the main steps are here once you have a picture you want whether you want it to be transparent or not is going to be up to you. Then it's all about finding the frame you want. And of course, mixing and matching. So you get that headshot look where you could use this pretty much anywhere you want. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.